Hey everybody, it's Moonfred here, and uh, I was contacted by the guy who made this, and now I forgot his name. Uh, I think it's Adrielanos, um, who wanted me to go a bit more in depth to what Hoonix is or is not. And um, because I did a quick preview, and he's quite right in that uh, that quick preview did maybe not fully um, made you aware of the fact what this thing can do and what it cannot do. Uh, it has support for uh, VPN so you can first do VPN then Tor or, or the other way around first Tor and then VPN. Um, there's some discussion going on about that. Uh, I have installed a very simple mail client as like the test that I wanted to show you. Uh, no account yet, but it's okay. And you can install Tor Birdie, so you do everything via Tor, even your email traffic. And I've installed. Uh, damn, that was not what I wanted. Oh, misclick. Uh, Legal Office, for example, to make this a little beefier uh, workstation in which you can do more than just, you know, browse the internet. You can also have a uh, RSS reader on there, PDF creator, whatever. It's just Linux machine which um, connects through the gateway. The gateway is really the, the the central part of this. This is just one client. So in um, in light of that, I have in fact another client. I have this one, which I configured to use the gateway. Uh, and this is, by the way, also my setup for um, a series that I'm going to do about rescue disks, uh, more importantly, antivirus disks. So if you're thinking this Vista looks fake and not wholesome, it is not wholesome, it is fake. So, so that's, uh, yeah. It's, I believe it's released under Black Edition, something like that. Vista Black Edition. Yeah, here you go. And I wanted to see or or what I find out if this one has Trojans or not. Um, but aside from that, you you saw from this here that I've configured to use the uh, browser update. Yeah, I'm, I know. But that's okay. That's so. Uh, that's fine. <clears throat> to use the gateway so that this one also goes through Tor, and this is a Windows client. So um, if people are asking how, how did you do that, uh, well, basically uh, I'm running this on VirtualBox. So uh, as you probably could t uh, told already, um, uh, will be gateway. Which is here? Can I do? Yeah. So I uh, just ran this command here, and you can see. Um, it's too bad I don't have a mouse, but you can see that the. Uh, I'll, I'll just do this. You can see that it has the 192.168.0.10. That's because this one has two adapters: one internal adapter network that accepts all the clients, and one external one that goes to the internet and that's this one and uh, Tor is running on port in my case it's this port that one 9100 that's the port that has the um, Tor running so you just hook up any clients and set it up so that you get a IP address I used internal network so I gave my Windows box that IP then you need to have the default gateway set up to be 192.168.10 and DNS needs to be the same 192.168.0.10 now when you have set that everything up like so this one will not say, well, 
you're configured to use Tor. No. You have to make sure your browser uses the SOX port as well. So you go here, you go there, and you make it run on that port, and basically you're done. So now you can go to Oh, that's not what I need, by the way. It's unencrypted, yes, I know. And everything goes a little bit slower because I'm in a virtual network, so when I first my internal network, like weird adapter, needs to go to um the gateway then the gateway needs to set it up to its external adapter and that one has to connect to my real adapter which has to connect to my router and go on so there's a lot of steps in between and as you can see this is not my IP address well for, trust me when I say that's not my IP address and as you can see here I just thought I'd show you those both like Yes, you're using a different one, and my IP address is also switched to that one. So, uh, we can. Which country are we in now? We're in the UK, because that's the easiest thing to do. Google transforms your google.com account to wherever you are. So, it's the easiest way I do it. It's not really a good, good one, because you also have things. Was this the side? Yeah, this is the one I use the most um, when I have to look up IP address because I find that this one has a reasonable good um, location map to it. Yes, it's very slow. I already explained that. So basically, um, Hunix is actually just a, a Tor server, as it were. It's a, it gives you the ability to just have the gateway running somewhere and hook up a lot of clients to it, which will in turn all be... Ooh. So basically, the, um, the gateway is the main central... Th um, thing of this main feature as were because it hooks up all the clients and torifies them so that's actually Hunix. The Hunix desk like workstation is something you can expand upon as you want want. But um it's it's really the, the gateway that's that's the thing. Ah here we go. Mm -hmm. No, oh, here we are in the United States, so that would be something is not correct. Cool. Quimby, United States. And Google gives me google.co.uk. I'm fine with it. Whatever. Fine with me. If I do, there was a, a, yeah, I forgot what, what dork was, but you can see your own IP address in the Google thing. Your IP address is this. So anyway, that's um, that's Hunix, Hunix Gateway, and I showed you how to configure um, a Windows client to work with this. Basically, just set everything up normally. So if you get your um, IP addresses off off of uh, your router, then keep that the the full gateway. And then you can use the DNS server of the the Hunix gateway, and then use the 
proxy configuration to do the Kunis gateway and you should be set as well but mine has to go through the default gateway of the of the Hunix gateway because otherwise I don't get an IP address as I am in the virtual environment mm -hmm. and here's my my setup so this is the IP address I chose uh, this is the default gateway of the Unix gateway and this is also the Unix gateway and that's it that is it and as you can see I didn't have any Tor th stuff installed on my browser you just need to point your proxy to to Tor because normally you would have Tor running on your system as you're making a local connection to your Tor software but now we're making a Tor connection to the gateway which is already running Tor for you so that's uh, that's just basically how it works um, you could have a server behind here you could have a um, you name it I mean you could have a Minecraft server behind this I mean, it, will, it we could have a, um, a, a, a Tor, Tor URL the, the how do you call it hidden service and you could have a hidden service that's a Minecraft server just saying you could have endless possibilities um, yeah that's about it what I wanted to say about Hunix um, just uh, well, there's nothing more I can say um, did I forget something no I told you about that it can handle VPNs as well if you want that it can be the Hunix test uh, the workstation can be a fully fledged workstation with everything on it you need and the gateway is just there to torfy everything so that's that's Hunix um, by the way you might have noticed it's a bit different that's what I made of it just thought I could show you that it could look totally different too if you take my uh, old video alongside this you probably see some differences And this will go to check .org. And There we go. So we're um, with this one. I'm, I'm anonymous is a big word, but at least it will take them some effort to locate me. Uh, that's about it. That's really it. All I have to say about Hunix.